Mr. Comey, have you ever heard the expression, power doesn't change people, it just unmasks them? No, I don't think so. How's your book coming? How many copies have you sold? I don't know. A lot. I have a new one coming out in January about the Justice Department. I hope that'll sell a lot too. But I don't know the I don't know the numbers. You um, you enjoy attention, don't you, Mr. Comey? I do not. I enjoy attention from my family. I do not enjoy being recognized in public and my B-list celebrity fame, which I hope will go away very soon. Mm. Well, I'll give you this. Um, you have been an equal opportunity egotist. You have tried to screw both Trump and Clinton. Uh, you, you and let's talk about Clinton first. When you were head of the FBI, you investigated Secretary Clinton and her emails and her server. Did you not? The FBI, FBI team did while I was director. Yes. And you concluded that there was there were no criminal violations, did you not? There were no violations that a reasonable prosecutor would pursue. But you didn't just issue a statement. You called a press conference. And you you, you commented on her behavior. You you said she was extremely care, uh, careless, but in your opinion there was no criminal intent. What were you thinking of? I mean, this is, the, this is the Democratic nominee for President of the United States? Didn't you realize that could have an impact on the investigation? The investigation was ending at that point when I issued the summary of what we had I'm concluded. sorry, I misspoke. Didn't you realize that could have an impact on the election? Oh, potentially, sure. And I was trying to offer... I'm sorry, go ahead. I was trying to offer transparency about the justification for ending an investigation of intense interest to the American people in July, it's July 5th of 2016. Well, you gave us a full dose of transparency. 11 days before the election, you sent a letter to Congress saying, oh, never mind what I said in my press conference, my unprecedented press conference, I'm going to reopen the investigation, didn't you? Correct. I, I didn't say what you just said in the letter, but I told the chairs of the committees we we're reopening the investigation to examine some additional material. And then a few days later, right before the election, you said, never mind. She didn't do anything. No, no I, I said the examination was completed and it doesn't change our view. And this is, we're not talking about a parking ticket here. We're talking about the Democratic nominee for President of the United States, the most powerful person in the free world. And you didn't think that would have an impact on the election? Oh, I knew it could potentially have an impact no matter what we did. And you don't like attention? Yes, both of those things are true at the same time. Sometimes you have to make hard decisions and you don't like attention. Uh, let's talk about Trump. You didn't really care about uh, Dr. Page, did you? You wanted Trump, didn't you? That is not accurate. Um, when when you uh, when you uh, went and got these warrants uh, to investigate Dr. Page um, that that you don't remember much about, what, what what did that allow you to do? Could you follow him around? I didn't, Senator, go get any warrants. The investigative team and the lawyers from DOJ got right. offers. Right. Could you follow him around with, 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 a, with a, the authority from FISA? No, you didn't need authority from FISA to follow someone around. This was about electronic surveillance. Oh, so you, could, you could wiretap him? It allowed you to collect electronic communications that he was engaged in. You can wiretap him? Yeah, that's the old-fashioned term, but yes, you, it gave you authority to collect electronic communications. Almost no one could, uses could, could you bug him? 
Mm, I don't think there was authority in the FISA application for a remote listening device. Could you open his mail? I don't think that was included either. Uh, but you don't rem remember? I don't. It's easy to figure out, but I don't. Sitting here, I don't know. Okay, that's fair. Um, and and you're saying today that uh, that that if you knew now what you didn't know then, that you wouldn't have signed the the uh, the, the application. I would not have signed the narrow certification that the FBI director has to give. But more importantly, I'd want to know from the team: How are you thinking about this? Why are these things not being included? Yeah, I mean, th that's what I'm, I mean, you're, you're a smart guy. You're honors graduate, William & Mary, Chicago Law School. And uh, you, you don't like attention. And I'm trying to understand that this, you're investigating, now you're investigating the Republican nominee for President of the United States. Okay, no. you've already finished with the Democratic nominee. Yeah, we now were not the Republican nominee, and... You 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 got a FISA warrant that was a lie, and you say, well, it wasn't your head of the FBI. Didn't you check? Didn't you go, hey guys, this is the the, the this is a nominee for president of the United States. Let's sit down and talk about what's your evidence. You never did that, Senator. We were never investigating the candidate, the Republican candidate, Mr. Trump. This was about a surveillance warrant on someone who was no longer associated with the campaign. Oh, you just got his name out of the out of the white pages. Whose name? And, and, and then with with General Flynn, you, you've wrapped up your investigation, but you decide to take one more shot. Sally Yates says you went rogue. Isn't that accurate? It is not accurate. Well, why would she say that? She sure didn't compliment you. I was sitting right here, bigger than Dallas, listening to her. She said you went rogue. Is she asking me what she meant by that? Yeah, what do you think about that? No, I think she was disappointed that I didn't coordinate the Flynn interview with her in advance, and I understood her concern about that. I think she understood my explanation afterwards as to why I used my authority, which I had, to do it without coordinating. But you don't like attention. I stand by my earlier answer. I love attention from my grandchildren and my children and my wife. Uh, the rest of it, I could uh, let politicians have it. Can we agree that the FBI is the premier law enforcement agency in all of human history? I think so, at risk of offending DEA, I think so. Mr. Comey, if you'd chosen a different career, say, a driving instructor. And you'd never ha pursued a career at the FBI. Don't you think the FBI would be better off? <laughs> I didn't pursue a career at the FBI. I was very happily teaching at Columbia when I was asked to become FBI director. Uh, that's enough. So uh, we'll go to... Um, our